Hello fellow coffee botherers, I'm Kev from coffeeblog.co.uk and this is a second in my four part series on the Sage or Breville Barista Express. If you've not seen the first video, click here for that. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a side by side comparison with the Sage or Breville Barista Express and the Bambino Plus with the Smart Grinder Pro. If you watched the last video, you'll know that this Barista Express is going to be given away to a Patreon supporter once I've done a couple more videos with this machine. To become a Patreon supporter, also known as accredited coffee botherer, go to patreon.com forward slash coffee blog Kev. So the Barista Express is an integrated grinder espresso machine. It isn't a bean to cup coffee machine as it's often mistaken as, but it's an integrated grinder espresso machine. The only similarity between something like this and a bean to cup machine is the integrated grinder. But other than this, the Barista Express has no other traits of a bean to cup coffee machine. If you're looking for a bean to cup machine, see coffeeblog.co.uk forward slash BTC. The Bambino Plus doesn't have an integrated grinder, obviously, so you'll need a standalone grinder. A very common pairing is a Sage Smart Grinder Pro or Breville Smart Grinder Pro, which we've got here. You could go for the slightly cheaper Dose Control Pro, or you could go for something like the Elite Fred or the Iveritol MC2, or going up a little bit in price, you could go for a grinder such as the Eureka Minion, one of the Minion range, or the Barazza Sete 270 various other grinders and for more info on grinders go to coffeeblog.co.uk forward slash grinders but as i've said here we're discussing the sage smart grinder pro paired with the bambino plus because i've got this grinder so that's the first big difference integrated grinder versus standalone espresso machine paired with a standalone grinder and personally between the two options my preference is standalone but I really like the Barista Express and the Barista Pro. If we're looking at it really practically, just pros and cons, I think you have to say that standalone espresso machine and grinder wins. If we look at this comparison, for example, we're not saving any space. As you can see, this is bigger than these two together. And we're not really saving any money. The Barista Express is £599 RRP, and the fair comparison to the Barista Express is a Duotemp Pro and the Dose Control Pro, and they work out at £540 together. The fair comparison against the Smart Grinder Pro and the Bambino Plus is the Barista Pro, which has the same newer Thermajet as the Bambino Plus and has the LCD display as the Smart Grinder Pro does. And click here for that comparison video, by the way. And the Barista Pro is 699 at RRP, so about £100 more than the Smart Grinder Pro and Bambino Plus. So there's no cost saving. And we're not really gaining anything specifically just by going for an integrated grinder machine. But moving away purely from the integrated grinder aspect of the Barista machines from Sage or Breville, there are benefits of these machines versus the standalone alternatives. And by the way, just to add here, if you're in the UK and you're thinking of buying a Sage machine, it's worth dropping me an email as I sometimes have discount codes from Sage appliances. I don't always have them, but if you drop me an email, kev at coffeebug.co.uk, if I have an active discount code, I'll send it to you. So focusing on the Brister Express versus the Bambino Plus and Smart Grinder Pro. The Brister Express is a bigger unit, has a bigger footprint and it's heavier, so it doesn't move all over the place while you're locking and unlocking the porter filter like the Bambino Plus does. As I've said in previous videos though, I've got used to that with the Bambino Plus. I just automatically hold it with one hand when locking and unlocking the porter filter with the other. The Brister Express has a water spout, the Bambino Plus doesn't. The Brister Express has a much bigger, much more practical, usable drip tray. It even has a little storage compartment at the back. The Bambino Plus has a teeny weeny drip tray, which isn't all that much use. The Brister Express has a bigger water tank, but it's only 100 mil bigger at two liters versus 1.9 liters. They both use the same 54 mil porter filter, but the porter filter on the Brister Express is better quality, heavier weight versus a cheaper feeling, more plasticky one, the Bambino Plus. Although you can buy one of these porter filters from the Barista Express and it will fit the Mambino Plus. They both come with the standard filter baskets and the pressurized baskets, dual wall baskets. Well, they do in the UK if you're buying from Sage Appliances. Some 
other retailers might have older stock because they used to come just with the dual wall baskets but if you're buying in the uk at least from sage appliances they do come with the standard baskets as well the steam wand on the Brewster Express is on a ball socket, so you have more flexibility over the angle of the wand and the angle that you hold the jug. Whereas on the Bambino Plus, you've just got that. The Brewster Express comes with the magnetic tamper slot, which is handy. And it has a cup warmer too, as does the Bambino Plus. But on the Brewster Express, it's obviously bigger, there's more room for cups, and it's actually quite a good cup warmer too. It takes a bit longer for the Brewster Express to heat up and the thermocoil in the Brewster Express is a bigger unit, it gives off more heat than the Bambino Plus, so you end up with a more usable cup warmer. Both machines have a PID for temperature stability, but it's adjustable with the Brewster Express. You can change the brew temperature up to two degrees Celsius hotter and down to two degrees Celsius cooler. Also, the Brewster Express has a pressure gauge, although I don't really rate that, to be honest. I don't think it's really needed. What I'd prefer is a shot timer, which the Brewster Pro has, but some people do like the pressure gauge. Fair enough. So, so far, lots of wins for the Brewster Express, but hold your horses, because I've not started talking about the pros for the Bambino Plus yet, and there are quite a few. The Bambino Plus features the new Thermajet, as does the Barista Pro, and that means a faster three second warm up time versus 30, 40 seconds on the Barista Express. And due to the newer Thermajet, the steam is ready faster too after pulling a shot with the Bambino Plus, which I will demonstrate now. Steam's already starting with the Bambino Plus. But we're still waiting for the Barista Express to take a little bit longer. And now we've got steam as well on the Barista Express. And the Bambino Plus has a four hole steam tip, as does the Barista Pro. The Sage Barista Express has a single hole steam tip. So the Bambino Plus and the Barista Pro will steam milk quicker, which I will also demonstrate now. We're going to steam 200 ml of milk on both to 60 degrees Celsius, and I'm going to time it using the Time More Black Mirror scales here, by the way. Really good brew scales. Click here, the top right of your screen for the video review I've done on them. Sixty. That's forty-four seconds. So forty-four seconds. We're going to be a plus to get to sixty degrees. Something I forgot to say in the talky bits is that the Bambino Plus also purges the Barista Express and the Pro don't have to purge them manually. Other than that noise when it's purging itself, as you can hear, the Bambino Plus is silent now. There's no gurgling or hissing or anything like that. There would be, there will be in a minute when we've steamed with the Barista Express. Again, purge the wand. Notice how I'm purging into the drip tray because it's got a bigger, more usable drip tray. I don't need to worry about filling the little drip tray up as I do on the Bambino Plus. So I can just do it into the drip tray. Six to one minute twenty. Engaging the pump to cool yourself down. Engaging the pump again because it purged. So it needs to cool down. And 
as you can hear, it's still making a bit of a drama of things, cooling down. There's a newer Thermojet on the Bambino Plus and the Barista Pro. It just stops. Heats up the milk and then just stops. There's no more drama, no more noise. So, just one thing to take into consideration. So I've just switched the steam tip to the four hole steam tip from the Bambino Plus and I'm going to do the same test again and let's just see if the only reason for the faster steaming with the Bambino Plus is a steam tip or if it's also something to do with the new Thermojet water heater. So let's do that same test again with a four hole steam tip on the Barista Express. So that was 57 seconds. So not as quick as the Bambino Plus, but quicker with the four hole steam tip of the Brister Express than using the single hole steam tip that comes with it. Another pro for the Bambino Plus and a standalone grinder is the grind adjustment. The steps in between each setting on the Brister Express are quite big, while the adjustments on the Smart Grinder Pro are quite a bit finer, so it gives you better ability to dial in. They improved this on the Barista Pro, which has 30 grind settings versus the 18 grind settings on the Barista Express across the same range. So by this point, you might be a bit confused, understandably so, because there are quite a few pros and cons for both. So to help you decide on which might be best for you, if you make a lot of milkies, cappuccino, flat white, latte, cortado, etc., and speed is of importance to you, I'd lean towards the Bambino Plus. Or think about the Barista Pro, which has the same Thermojet and the four-hole steam tip. If you drink mainly Americano or Lungo water-based coffees, I'd lean towards the Barista Express, which has a hot water spout. If you like the idea of having a bigger usable drip tray and a bigger usable cup warmer, the Barista Express might be the better option for you. If you're wanting to perfectly dial in with a wide range of different coffee beans, the Bambino Plus with a Smart Grinder Pro might be the better choice. Other than that, I really don't think you can go far wrong with either of these choices. So I wouldn't be too concerned about making the wrong choice. Just go for whatever feels like the best fit for you based on what I've just said. So there you go. That's what I think of the Barista Express versus the Bambino Plus and Smart Grinder Pro. Thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, click here to watch another one. And don't forget, if you want to become an official Coffee Botherer, you need to click this image around here somewhere to subscribe to this channel. And also to become an accredited Coffee Botherer, also known as Patreon supporter, just go to patreon.com forward slash coffee blog Kev. Tatty bye.